in New Mexico State, are you happy for TiVo that you could get to record the game last night, or were you up at 3 a.m.? You're giving me no credit. You don't think I stayed up till 3 o'clock? I know in the you morning? did. <laughs> I literally made it till 2 and then uh, didn't go beyond yeah. that. But, uh, uh, you know, they, they ought to be proud of that win. It's uh, The island's a tough place to play. Hard to win uh, at the University of Hawaii. They had a great crowd over there last night. and. Uh, I thought that uh, the Mexico State team played as well as uh, any of the teams I've seen them have. What's the emphasis this week going into the NMSU game? Well, they, they present so many issues. Uh, they're really good in offensive transition. Uh, they're really good at establishing the post, playing through there. Uh, they're, they've been terrific defensively, and I don't think uh, Marvin gets enough credit for his defense. They held teams below 40% a year ago and uh, continuing to do that this year. So. Uh, we've got a lot of things to worry about. I thought you split with them last year, uh, mm -hmm. the game and playing in the Pan Am Center. Yeah, I think uh, the Aggies felt like they should have gotten them both. Uh, they, uh, we literally stole one here in El Paso last year. Uh, we were up uh, or down, I think, five or six with uh, under a minute to go. And I still am not sure how we won. Um, but uh, anyhow, we were fortunate to get the split. Talk about playing at the Pan Am Center. I know it's not the same rivalry as it was in the 80s. I know the pack crowds, but it's still emotional for both. Well, you know what? Uh, they had a great crowd a year ago, an absolutely great crowd a year ago, and we expect one here on Friday night. Talk a little bit about Matt Willems and how he's progressed. And well, you know, Matt uh, had a, a great uh, exhibition game. He had a great scrimmage. Uh, uh, he had a tremendous opening game. But he's doing it against 6'5 guys. So now he's going to a chance to do it against 7'6 and 6'11 and 6'10. And it's a different deal. And, uh, and I think we need to keep our expectations in check on Matt. We, we see a very, very fine prospect. Same guy we saw when we took him out of Finley Prep. But, uh, you know, we, we've got to go do it against some big boys. And, uh, you know, he's got to go rebound and, and run the floor and do the things he does well. But uh, the guy I'd like to really focus on right now is John Bohannon, who I think has uh, vastly improved. Uh, he's uh, passing the ball very well. He's not trying to do too much, getting everybody involved. And uh, it's been really steady this point. What kind of tempo do you see Friday night? Kind of more fast paced or trying to slow it down a little? Or? No, you know, uh, the players will dictate that. The situation will dictate that. Defensive rebounding will dictate that. They try to push. We try to push. Um, uh, we'll, we'll see how we handle that. It'll be interesting to see how our young guys respond to, uh, to playing on the road. Duke or Kansas? Gosh, uh, I'm going to go with the Dukies this early in the year. Yeah, yeah. Any update on Cedric and will he be playing? Uh, you know, we'll know more about that probably uh, as we get closer to game time. He's going to try practice on a limited basis today and see how he feels. Uh, you know, we have not talked to him uh, in the last 24 hours, but uh, I would expect when he gets over here today for practice, he'll be raring and ready to go. He's been tired of being locked up in a dark room. Just talk about it after the exhibition game and kind of how you guys are improving as guards and uh, Leading up to MSU. Uh, yeah, I think the ex exhibition game uh, really helped us because we got to see what we had to really work on. And uh, I think we, we worked on those things a lot in practice so far. And I think it's going to help us a lot going uh, into New Mexico State because uh, we know what they could do and uh, we're just going to keep working on these the next three days that we have. So I think we'll be fine going into New Mexico State. What Does was the main thing you guys were working on? Uh, pretty much defense, uh, transition defense. Uh, on the ball defense, pretty. Uh, the, but the biggest thing we've really been working on is hands off, because you know the new rule of, of fouling and all the fouls they call. So we're really just working on keeping our hands off and, and not fouling. So that's one of the biggest things we've been working on. Does NMSU week have a different feel, or is it just a, another week of, of getting to work and preparing? Um, I mean, it definitely has a, a different feel just because it's a rivalry game. But I mean, then again, it's just another week, another game. Uh, but I mean, this, this is a big game for us because it's a rivalry game, and this is a game that I mean they beat us last year at Mexico State, and this is a game we want to come in and beat them just because they beat us last year there. So it's big for us. Talk about the emotions leading up to this game. You kind of go from what Coach Floyd said was kind of like an exhibition game feel yeah. to now jacked up the emotions against your I-10 rival. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lot of emotions going on, and and like Coach Floyd says, it, it, it's easy to win at home, but it takes men to win on the road. So, I mean, that, that's a big thing for us. And we're trying to go on the road and, and get a win out there. And it'll be real big for us to get a win out there because, uh, I mean, then again, it's the Mexico State. So it'll be big, big for us. Just talk about, like, 
the emotional experience of playing at a Pan Am against New Mexico State, did it finally hit you like about the rivalry? I mean, you know, this is probably one of the biggest rivalries in the West. You know, and um, when you first get to UTEP, I think um, back three, four years ago, your biggest rival to me in my eyes is probably Memphis, but now uh, as you as you uh, learn about the the boy battle of I-10, it, it uh, has to be New Mexico State. Does it mean more you're a senior now? Yeah, I mean, you know, I know uh, it's you know we just want to take it as another game, but uh, obviously you can't overlook the fact that this is a big robbery and. Uh, Probably not just another game in a lot of people's eyes, but uh, of course we want to win both games again. Coach Floyd said uh, the first game in the bowl was kind of like an exhibition game, had an exhibition feeling. Can you, is it easy to change that emotional level to now ramp it up for NMSU? Oh yeah, I mean, just playing basketball and getting in the basketball game, it's the same emotions for me. I can't speak on anybody else, but I'm always excited to play and ready to go play and ready to win. Talk about how you guys think that have you improved think after that first game and seeing that improvement level. Oh, uh, excuse me. Do you see that improvement level? Do you see improvement every day in practice? Oh, uh, yes, sir. I, I, I'd say we, we have been improving. You know, uh, we're improving our defensive coverages and um, you know, hopefully we can continue to improve our offense so we can continue to get out and run. You know, um, you know that's what we want to do. Do you feel you're going to have to play more of a defensive game and try and slow them down, or can you run with them and score points? Uh, I mean, I think they're going to have to come and run with us, you know, personally. I mean, they got like three, three, 300 pound guys, so uh, I, I think they would have to run with us.